what swinging guys, it's Carl the Winger here and today we're in Oak Class which is my class in George Haswell School and we're going to be doing an in place presentation on bowing and about the bells of St. James Bowing Furnace. Alright. Um, so, the bells of St. James are in Furnace. So, the bells of St. James are a really amazing asset to bow. We ring them for practice nights on Wednesdays and for Sunday services on Sunday and for many events like Lent and funerals and weddings on May where trail CWT and F. CWT means 100 weight and every CWT represents 50 kilograms. So trail times 50 equals 600. So the tenor at Bower weighs 600 kilograms on the note is F. And the bells have a really nice sound and the tenor chimes every hour until 9 pm every day and that's trail for tenor chimes trail times. Then the lighter spell, the travel chimes 18 times. So what the bells look like before the restoration. So uh, basically in, two, uh, in 1999 the bells of battle got promoted from the Soy Sierra and they were declared unsafe to ring so they couldn't ring anymore and if you see just Quickly check, yeah, it's season temperate. But you'll see all these see, So that's bell number four off the wing, where it's just sat down on blocks. It was working. No, it's because there wasn't a headstock or wheel for it. And then we've got the rust on the bots, which hold the bells to the headstock. And that bit there's called the headstock, which holds the bell. And then the tenor there, which has the wheel there, and it also has the stay there, which rests on the side of the mm. chubby down there, which holds mm. them in the up position. Then what's on the bearings there, mm. and you'll see the broken wheel on the seventh. I believe the tower captain off Barrow did that because he did say he broke a wheel once. And then you can see this there, where you can see all the bells being held up on it, and you can see all of them there. And you can also see the louvers right there, which has the sound come out when you hear them outside. Right there, still on. You can see a close up of the corrosion on the bell on this stitch, and then a rust on the clamp. So, mm. with all of that, they weren't able to be won because they were dangerous. And now we're ready for the next stitch, please. Alright, so you can see what the bells look like now. <gasps> and now the bells are all hung on. They are perfect. They, when they had the restoration, they took the corrosion off the bells and they tuned the inside. As you could see, there's stuff right there. And then, with all of it, they're all <clears throat> nice and ringing now. And they tuned the inside so they sounded better than they did before the restoration. And you can see that they're, they're in the up position right now. Usually, they're in the down position when they're not ringing. Hey, can I just ask a quick question? Of course, Sarah. You said somebody rings every day, the bells ring every hour. Who rings them? Uh, no one rings them because if, if you could see just there in this thing here, it has a hammer there and it's a time that hammer. goes like that and hits the tenor and shines every hour. So it's like on a timer. So it's basically like how clock towers do it ah. with mechanisms but these are electronic ah, right. and we have a box downstairs in the ringing room where you can pull some of it back and then push it there where it says safe to ring so it turns the chimes off so we can raise the bells and then do, when we've got them down again you pull it back and push it back to do not ring so it, they chime because if hammers hit bells when they're swinging, it can damage them really badly. Thank you. Right. So now there's two videos here. One I've seen the tenor being rung up from the view of the old bell. Oh, yeah. your eyes, it's and you, then we've got one of me ringing up one bell. Yeah. So Thirty seconds of each. Um, now we're gonna. It's just two minutes. Then a forty-nine second bit after. Bring it yet? Today we're gonna. So see you'll see it. The tenor is down at the moment. Me. Now it's gonna be one up if you're ready. You'll see it now. So you'll see one. They check it from the downstairs on the wall. You get the clappers to try on the right side. And it turns higher and higher each time. <laughs> so each time it's pulled down, the bell goes. Each time it swings, and you can just see the clamor coming up now because the bell's getting higher. And if the clamor was on the opposite side, then it would be up longer, and it would put more pressure on the bell, and then with 
So now it's on. Let's go over. <laughs> no, you'll see, there's a piece of wood but the stay was on. So now you can pause it and then go on to the next thing, Mr. Dyer. So you'll see that our bells get up when they're down. And you'll see me ringing the further up. So could you pause and then put on full speed, please? Alright, there we go. So you'll see, you check it to get it to chime. And else to chime when the wall rises. Okay, and now you don't have to check anymore because it's chiming on both sides so you know it's going to fly. So you'll see the notes and weight of the bells are the treble, which is the lightest spell, is 4 C W T, so 4 mm. times 50, which is 5, 50, mm. 150, and 200. So you'll see the treble and the second both weigh 200 kilograms each, and the treble slope rings out in F, and the second rings out in E, and the third is 5 C W T, so add one more C W T to Great, and then in that one rings in D, and the fourth, which is five as well, is in C. And with CWT, it basically means 100 weight, but every CWT represents 50 kilograms. And then the fifth, it rings in B, D, and the is six CWT, the sixth is seven CWT in A, and the seventh is nine CWT in G, and the tenor is 12 CWT in F. <laughs> And all of them make up the sound you hear when all eight are winging. <laughs> and the wingers are St. James bowing for the soul. Some wingers don't wing there as much anymore, but you are the ones that are. So the tower captain, which is Andy Pollock, who taught me how to wing. <laughs> Kyle the winger, who is me. Stephen Richard Harrison, who is my dad. And Jaden Milby and Ewan Cockreave, who come every week. We have Clarissa as well, and we have Cameron and Jason Pollock, who are the sons of the tower captain. We have this guy called Ian, we have Andy Taylor and Alan Duo and a lot more. And you'll see, when the bells of St. James ring, so number one is time every hour, starting at around 8, 9 or 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. every day mm. for clock chimes, and a special chime at 12 o'clock, where Tre uh, where the tenor chimes 12 times, then with it, the uh, treble then chimes 3 times, then stops, then 3 times and stops, 3 times and stops, then 9 times, which make up 18 times, and that only, mm -hmm. that chime only goes off once mm -hmm. day at 12. <laughs> and then Wednesday at 7.30 until 9pm for practice night, and um, anyone's welcome to <laughs> learn to wing and come and see us wing. And then Sunday at, at 5 to 10, uh, um, uh, until 10.30am for Sunday services, and they wing, uh, but now they, we just do it like every so often because of Covid, but we're hoping to get back to normal soon. And then for events like Lent, All Saints Day and Men's and Jewels and Deals and Quarter Deals, where we wing for an hour straight. <laughs> and sometimes we wing for three hours. And then mm. for celebrations and for the memories of people and a lot mm. more. <laughs> and then you'll see there's plenty of energy of towers in Cumbia with Dolan Furnace <laughs> with a 150 kilogram tenet. Um, We've also got Amberside mm. with a mm. 1 ton and 600 mm. kilograms, uh, mm. which is 1,600 kilograms, and Fleet Bird with an mm. 800 kilogram tenor, and many more. We also have guilds and associations about building in, like the Lancashire Association of Chain Drinking, 
And we also have the Carlisle Dissolution Guild of Church Bell. We guys have a lot more across the world as well. And you'll see the pictures of different belfries in different towers. I was only able to get to well, when I was doing it just then, but this one right here is Ambleside Spells. They have a 32 CWT tower, which is 1,600 kilograms and dominant furnaces with a 21 CWT tower. Also, before I do the end, I'm going to say one thing about the restoration of uh, Bowers Bells. The cost was £160,000 to restore them. Uh -huh. And so this is it for my presentation. So does anyone have any questions? Um, How did you find Bavarian so far? It goes amazing. Kyle, I like that. Oh, Kyle, how, how yeah. did you pull the rope on your video, my friend? Well, the way how you pull it is you, you first you take two fingers and do this and make sure it starts with the Sally bobs up and down, mm. then it's down and it's safe to ring up. If it doesn't move at all, then it's up and it's dangerous to pull because when it goes up like that, it can go out of control. <laughs> And they just saw now for Ryan's question. When did you start doing Barry? Well, I started doing it around 2016, 2017, and uh, I've always liked bells myself ever since I was a baby and in a prank because I like the sound of Bow Town and Laws Bell. So, you have another question? Who got you to it? No, was... um, well, basically, it was a building that got me into it, which was Barrel Town Old Clock, because I liked the sound of the chimes it did when I was younger, and I used to have an amazing imagination, where basically, say, Barrel Town Old looks like it's here, and then you go somehow, and it looks like it's over there. I used to thought there were two, and one told the wrong time, and one told the right time, and it had been an amazing thing for me ever since I started. Without St James's, which is your most favourite church in England um, that you visited? I don't actually know, to be honest. I have so many favourites. Right, okay, that's good. Well done. Right, so there's any more questions? <laughs> My first time to tell you a question. So, what is your question? How did you enjoy going in at the James Church? I enjoy it so much, and there's many amazing <laughs> things. And before I finish off, there's these leaflets that I've to everyone given to me by the tower captain, so you can see some wow. about bells and stuff. So mm -hmm. you can possibly learn to ring if you would like to. Yeah, yeah. And it has really amazing features. It also has the, oh, the contact of the Tower Captain of St. James Bower and Furnace in case you just would like to know how to do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> So, if you enjoy my presentation, viewers watching this video and everyone, then please subscribe for future content. Until next time, ring out. Yay!